Hi, it's Pam Triolo, and welcome to a new edition of The Food Lady. You know, for years you guys have been telling me, Pam, you're so cheesy. So I thought I would devote an entire show to it. What do you say? We're gonna have so much great food and excitement for you. You won't wanna miss a second of today's Food Lady. The Food Lady is brought to you thanks to the support of these fine sponsors. When I was a little kid, my mom would always take me to the five and dime and I'd go up to the counter and I would order a grilled cheese sandwich and a vanilla egg cream soda. Well, we're getting the next best thing, grilled cheese gallery. All right, we're sitting here, we're right in the middle of the action and Gabriella is here and she is the uh, Hostess with the mostess. <laughs> and she's got a couple of things prepared for me. I said, we're doing a show and it's called You're So Cheesy and we couldn't miss the grilled cheese gallery. We couldn't. All right? It's great. So what are you gonna make for us? So today we're gonna do a classic, which is just a classic grilled cheese. It has cheddar and it's served on either white bread or wheat. Okay. We're also gonna do the night in Amsterdam. So it's a blend of four cheeses, Swiss, Gouda, Gruyere, cheddar. And it's also on a white bread. That sounds dangerous. We have the um, <laughs> artist, so it's good for vegetarians. It has mushrooms, Swiss, onions, kale, and it's served on a rye bread. So wow. if you're a vegetarian, we have options for you as well. We have our Mac Daddy, so it's our homemade mac and cheese with cheddar, and it's served on a white bread. So Mac, wait, wait. mac and cheese sandwich. In the sandwich, yes. Oh my gosh, <laughs> it's gonna be good. <laughs> so we have another mac and cheese, which is called the Country Boy, which is one of our most popular ones. So it's homemade mac and cheese again, with barbecue pulled pork, uh, Gruyere, and cheddar cheese on a white bread. Holy That one is wait. one of our most popular yeah. ones. I'm sure it is. <laughs> and then we also have poutines, which is a classic Canadian dish. So it's a loaded fries, with fries, cheese curd, gravy, a homemade beef or mushroom gravy for people that don't eat beef. So everything is low calorie, right? Yeah. <laughs> I caught her off guard. I mean, <laughs> you can make it low calorie if you really want it to. It just be one. <laughs> so this garlic poutine is our spicy poutine. So it comes with grilled chicken, um, sriracha, aioli, kimchi, which is a uh, spicy cabbage sauce, yeah, and jalapenos. It. Wow. Yeah. And we're going to eat all that. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> all right, let's give it a try. All right, so it's not exactly an egg cream soda, but it is uh, Dr. Brown's cream soda, right? Pretty close. This is the homage to my mom. This is called a night in Amsterdam. After seeing the plating, I get it. <laughs> Oh man, that's cheesy. The food lady continues and we're sort of in the, um, well, you know how Willy Wonka has a chocolate factory? Well, this is Vito Volpe and he has the mozzarella factory and we're actually in the middle of this and you're making burrata right now, Burrata, aren't you? yes, regular burrata. And you make it all by hand. It's all by hand. Now, what exactly goes into this? Can we, can we see this process? I yes. know that burrata has like a, a thicker shell on the outside and it's soft on the soft inside, right? The inside, this is how you, it's done. Just like that? Just <laughs> like that. And we put inside the stracciatella, which oh. is uh, shredded mozzarella with the cream and... That's that ooey gooey goodness that yes. comes out when you open it up and it yes. just kind of oozes onto yes. whatever it is that you're We having. make with the, with the truffle Ooh. also. We make with the smoked salmon. Really? And we make burri cotta also. It's uh, stuff we said to put a stracciatella. Okay. We use uh, ricotta with the cream inside. Oh, that sounds good That's too. That's nice. It's new, not that many people make. Now you guys know me, you know how much I love cheese, you know how much I love Italian yes. cheese. So, do you know what it's taking me to not just reach in and grab one of those puppies and eating it right now? I'm, I'm restraining myself. No, you get it, wait, I'll give you some. No, I, we'll, we make, we'll try it in a little bit. We make a uh, nodini, we made the, uh, where's the nodini? 
Now, here's yeah, the question. Yeah, see, we made a braid, so we're Ooh. making Nodini. This, you can have one. I can eat one right yes. now? Does it get any fresher than this? It's a braid. Mm. Oh, it's so good. Oh my gosh. It's good, huh? Now, what started you making mozzarella? I love mozzarella to eat myself. <laughs> I eat a lot of mozzarella. <laughs> I'm sure you do. And still, up to today, I take home every day, I take home mozzarella. I'd be 400 pounds if I worked there. <laughs> That's why I got belly. Nah, <laughs> you're looking good there. But you this know. is an investment. Yeah, exactly. You have to try it. <laughs> Any chef that doesn't taste their cooking, you know what? That's it. They're not a chef. Mm -hmm. I don't think so. This is amazing. So yeah. now we've got the burrata, we've got regular mozzarella. What's the difference between all the different mozzarellas? Uh, well, the shape, like fior di latte in water or um, ovalini. There's three ball to a pound or little cherry. Mm -hmm. We make cherry marinade with oil and spice. Um, Bocconcini, different size. Oh yeah, and you also make butter. Yes, and we make whey butter. Whey butter. That comes out from the whey. It's healthy butter, it's no cholesterol, and it's all protein. So what you're saying is that whey butter is way better? Yes, <laughs> much way better. So I could resist. <laughs> <laughs> way better. We'll be back with more with Vito and Mozzarita in just a minute. Thank you. Looking for an authentic Japanese steakhouse? Welcome to Saito's. Enjoy Saito's specialty sushi rolls, like their signature city place roll, featuring spicy tuna, pineapple, and avocado. Saito's also offers the best dinner on a show. Whether you enjoy surf or turf, there's something for everyone, and it's always a lot of fun. Saito's Japanese Steakhouse, Hibachi and Sushi, now with six locations to choose from. Enjoy dinner and a show today. For over 30 years, there's been only one place in Palm Beach County serving up the most authentic Maryland-style blue crabs, Riggins Crab House. Whether you want them steamed in beer and J.O. spice or smothered in garlic and oil, whether you want just a few or all you can eat, Chef Gino's got you covered. Plus, there's Dungeness Snow, King Crab, and Stone Crab in season, and the fresh catch of the day to live Maine lobster. Come see why people travel near and far to Riggins, the area's only authentic Maryland-style crab house. To win at this game, you have to put in the work, know the game plan, and execute. At Duffy's, our game is always on. Love my job. And I saw Alessandra <laughs> sitting here by herself, ready to indulge on these magnificent bacon wrap dates. And I said, Is anyone sitting with you? And she said, Of course not. Come and join. And she poured me some wine. <laughs> the biggest wine glasses in town. I Cheers. Love it. Cheers. <laughs> and we're going to enjoy these beautiful dates. Why do you come here? I, you know, I've been coming here for years and I love this place. It is family owned and everything about it is family. The love that goes into the food, the clients, the customers, me, I get to personally know them and have a great time with them, eat their food, and I couldn't enjoy it anymore. I know, they really do treat you like you're they part do. of the family. I, I actually remember one of my first experiences, I wasn't sure if I would have liked the sardines in the dressing. So he bought me one part with just the dressing and no sardines, another with sardines just to make sure that they put the right dressing on my salad. I was, oh. they really go the length, you know? Oh, they go to every great Yeah, they really length, do. Especially in their food, so what do you say? Let's, Let's give these a it. try. Let's do it, let's dip in. Okay. Here we go. Mmm. It's not just bacon. Mm. What's inside of those dates? I didn't even see. Is that a goat cheese, I think? Mm. All right, I found this table here and they are totally trouble. I can tell right away the second I walked up. You're it. Yeah, I know you. I'm all, you better watch yourself, Missy. <laughs> I'm sure I can. Oh, 
What do you love about this place? What brought I you back? I love the variety of the small dishes that you can get, that mm -hmm. you can choose from. We're trying something new today. We're going to have, she's going to try the deviled eggs. Mm. I'm going to try, the, she's having the salmon carpaccio, and I'm going to try the stuffed mushrooms. So I'm going to introduce you to two of my favorite customers. Uh-oh. <laughs> the billion up to the bar. We have Joyce and Janet, and this is one of their favorite dishes here, our antipasto platter. Oh, that's gorgeous. Yeah. What do you guys love about this here? We love Everything. the place. <laughs> it truly is our cheers. We come here <laughs> most nights, um, if not for dinner, wine, everything, or on a backstop for another for a coffee last and minute. Cake. <laughs> coffee and a cake. last minute cocktail, aperitifs, they have it all. Oh, we just love it here. And Michelle's a doll. We have a good time. Is this your favorite? Yes. This is one of our favorites. We, we also have we're wineies, we're foodies, we love the, the variety that you get. Mm -hmm. And there's things that you just can't get anywhere else, which I love the best. Well dig in Especially ladies. My friends. <laughs> Thank you. They're no, family. Okay. So yeah. we have brigitto de parma, a garlic and wine dried sausage, a dried chorizo, and a sopressat, and drunken goat cheese, fontina, and manchego, with fig jam, uh, whole grain mustard, and a homemade pesto. Oh, I like Marcona that. almonds, and mixed olives that we marinate in-house. And then those little things that are the red and the yellow ones, those are I our love those. They're sweetie drop peppers. So it's like a mini pepper dew pepper. Ooh. They just pop in your mouth. Oh, that looks fantastic. The almonds awesome. are my favorite. <laughs> And what I like about it too is that you have a nice mix of sheep's milk cheeses, goat's milk cheeses, oh, yeah. cow's milk cheeses. You can have a little. People like to have a little bit of different. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. And it's not your. Uh, it's not your typical antipasto. It's an antipasto. And we switch it up once in a while. We don't kit. always keep the same stuff. Oh, I love that. The food lady continues from mozzarella. We are talking mozzarella. If you say it the correct way, mozzarella. Mozzarella. Right? Mozzarella. If I'm you, here with Vino Volpe. If you <laughs> like a mozzarella, the mozzarella, you gotta go. Exactly. That's it. You make this some fast. I met this guy at the Breakers Hotel. Let me tell you something. It was at a local Ecopia event, and uh, I sat there and I tried your. Um, I think this was the burrata with burrata, the chapo. Yes. And then I tried some of this. This is your. Yes. Just That's your, a pure di latte. Pure mozzarella. Pure mozzarella. And that's a pound. That's a pound. And I sat there and I tried it and I tasted it and I ended up staying there for half the night. I kid you not. It was that good. So now, what, what goes into this? These come off. They come These off. These comes off of the machine because the one, you know, the the weight has to be exactly weight. Then it's been unwrapped. Okay. And the, some it uh, stays in the water with the brine. Okay. You okay. know, different. For, this is more dry. In the, in the, when you rub, it becomes more a little bit drier. The one in water in the brine stays moist for the caprese. I always wondered why some is in water and some is in rub. Yeah, for the dryness. See, the one in water they use for caprese more. With the tomatoes and mozzarella. Yeah, this basil. they use for even pizza. They can use this. The, the drier one. Yes, because okay. you don't want too much water for pizza. Yeah, I mm. never get it. See, I never knew that. Did you know? And, and different shape, you know, cherry they use for antipasto. Oh, yeah. Or, and the bocconcini to the sides, you know, it's all different shape. I used the little, the little cherry tomatoes yeah, or grape good. tomatoes. Yeah, Throw good. the bocconcini in there. Yeah, see, those are good. It's easy in the salad. It's perfect. Yes, yes. All right, well, we're going to have to eat coming up next, so you won't want to miss a second. Our quest for the cheesiest continues in Jupiter, where we have a very interesting combination for you. Would you ever imagine the combination of mussels and blue cheese? <laughs> Tarzi from the Parisian Restaurant and Wine Bar is going to show us exactly why this is the perfect combination. All right, we have to try these mussels because all we're going to do is drinking. Mm -hmm. We're going to have some surprises after. We are. Yeah, mm. go ahead. So these are the blue cheese mussels. Okay. All right? So you try and then we'll talk about it. How's that? That sounds wonderful. Okay. Let me see. Mussels are a bit small because it's August. And mussels, they, 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 they're usually, you know, bigger with oh, the months with the R. September, October, November, December, January through May. That is delicious. And then... With salt. You want a spoon? 
I want a spoon, I want bread, I want... Well, uh, <laughs> I want, I want, I want, I want. It's, it's delicious. Yeah. Now, how does Chef make these? Well, it's pretty easy. I mean, it's pretty easy. It is a base of uh, what we call the poulet, okay? okay. Which is based with chicken broth and, and uh, garlic and everything. White wine. And then you had the blue cheese. And the quantity of the blue cheese you had is going to make the difference. Really? So you don't want that too creamy, you don't want that too heavy, because the blue cheese is already strong, you just want to touch. And you can and see the consistency, guys. Look at this. It's just perfect. It's creamy. Creamy, but not heavy. But not heavy at all. Exactly. That's it. No, it's perfect. That's and the, that wine cuts it, too. It's beautiful. That's the trick. That's it. And you would say, oh, blue cheese with mussels. It's a weird combination. Yeah, because if the mussels is too powerful, then you don't feel the mussels anymore. But I it's actually, still before, before we sat down, yeah. I was talking to our viewers and I said two things that you would not think go together. No. Blue cheese. Blue cheese and, and mussels. mussels. Yeah. I know. Well, there you have it. Well, we're talking, you're the cheesiest and Chill. these are absolutely deliciously one, so that's okay. cheesy. <laughs> well, that was so good. Now, what did you pair this with? What kind of wine? Uh, mussels is something that, of course, selfish, that usually it's paired with, uh, of course, white wine, but mm -hmm. uh, usually we, we we offer a selection of dry white wines. It doesn't have to be a pure Sauvignon, mm -hmm. uh, or they can be a light Chardonnay as well. Okay. So we're going to pick every Bordeaux Sauvignon, or every Loire Valley can be a Sancerre, mm -hmm. uh, the Macon that you're drinking right now. Goes something well light, that. a Chardonnay very light. You don't okay. want to be too hokey. However, however, with the Blue cheese mussel, you can go up to the farniente. See, I, I'm not a big Chardonnay drinker. Okay. But I, when it's a French Chardonnay, you go for it. I, I like it. But why? Because California, it's light. It's light and it's not so um, buttery. It's not so oaky and whatever. I, I feel like the California Chardonnays, they're they're so over nuanced that you forget the grape because there's so many other flavors in them. Um, I mean, there's some good ones. Thank you, thank you. But, I but now they, they 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 have great great Chardonnays oh, they have, in California. Yeah, they have very amazing subtle. ones. Yeah. So. But I'm talking about your everyday kind of Chardonnay. I know. You know right. what I'm saying? Yeah, absolutely. And that is a... That's a Sancerre. Uh, smell. Just try, don't smell. Okay. Jeez. I mean, you can do both, right? Just go ahead, don't be so picky. Well, that's nice, I know, too. that's really nice. It's super really nice. dry, yeah. It's Ooh, super dry. next time I get and this... And if I'm you want, have... even with mussels, it's more rarely, but you can select a light Pinot Noir. Right. If you're really fan, if you don't like white wines and fan of red wines, Pinot Noir will get you through with the blue cheese. That will that will do it. I yeah, did. Absolutely. You know, I'm I'm not a big red wine drinker anymore. I used to be only red. Didn't even touch the white wine, but uh, the Pinot Noir is still for me. Are, yeah, are it's fantastic. perfect with mussels, absolutely. And the blue cheese, who'd have thunk it? Thank you so much, Tarzi. Of course, you're welcome anytime. Everyone has to come visit you here in Jupiter, the Parisian restaurant and wine bar. There you go. Yeah, I he know, knows right? everything about wine too. <laughs> so you're gonna love this place. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Lady continues from mozzarella. We're talking things that are cheesy. In fact, you're the cheesiest, and you really are, Vito. Yes. I, I mean, you're the king of cheese. You're the king of you, mozzarella. I was the only one in Florida. I know. Now a lot of people trying, but but the original is always the best. All, that's it. <laughs> because I keep original. It's 100 percent. I no skip, no corner. Right, and it's, you uh, also make butter. Butter. Yes. We in all day when we make the mozzarella, all the the way we accumulate and then uh, in the end of the day we make butter. We go through the machine, we separate uh, butter with the water and this butter is healthy butter, it's no cholesterol, it's, uh, it's all protein. You can use it uh, for frying, uh, for cookies, to make cake, anything in the restaurant or home. And people love it because it's, it's healthy butter. I'm sure that the restaurants buy that in droves, right? Yes, very much. Well, when we come back, we're actually going to sit down and we're going to taste some of your food? Yes. All right. Yes. You are the cheesiest. Mm -hmm. 
Hey everyone, it's Pam Trigolo and I'm in the kitchen, in my kitchen to be exact. You know, I get so many emails and I get private messages on social media saying, where did you get your degree in cooking? I don't know, I think it was the school of hard knocks. <laughs> I don't always do everything right and I don't claim to be a chef. I just want you to feel at home so that you know that when you're not dining out at a lot of the great restaurants that you see on our show or eating some of those fabulous dishes from those great chefs, you don't feel intimidated about cooking something yourself. If I can do it, you can do it. How about cheesy Brussels sprouts? You heard me right, cheesy Brussels sprouts. This is the perfect way to get those people that aren't so fond maybe or don't think they're fond of Brussels sprouts to eat them and love them, even the kids. So let's get started. The ingredients we're gonna need is two pounds of Brussels sprouts. I've uh, taken off the stems and I've pretty much just cut them in half. Then I've got bacon. We're gonna need about six slices of bacon and you wanna cook it towards the well side only because you want it to be nice and crunchy and crisp on top. I've got two shallots and they're all chopped up. And then I've got two kinds of cheeses here. One of this is a sharp cheddar and the other one is Gruyere. I've got black pepper, I've got kosher salt, I've got butter. We're gonna need three tablespoons of butter and three quarters of a cup of heavy cream. First thing we're gonna do is we're gonna cook our bacon. We wanna make sure, again, you get it nice and crisp. Once that bacon is done, you're gonna set it out on a paper towel to dry. And then when you're through with that, get rid of that bacon fat, but don't clean your pan. That's where all the good stuff is. We're gonna add three tablespoons of butter to the pan, get it nice and warm, and we're gonna throw in our shallots and our Brussels sprouts. And we're gonna let them cook for about 15 to 20 minutes. You wanna get them nice and soft because even though we're gonna put this in the oven afterwards, there's still nothing worse than a dry, crunchy Brussels sprout. You want it to have that ooey gooey goodness. So let them cook. We're gonna put the Brussels sprouts into our pan. Spread it out. Okay. Now we're going to take three quarters of a cup of heavy cream and drizzle it over the top. We're gonna take our half a cup of Gruyere, half a cup of sharp cheddar. And I'm gonna go right in with the hands, with the claw. <laughs> if you want, grab a spoon, I'm gonna mix this up so I'll have some cheese on the inside and some cheese on top. Down in there. I'm telling you, you will make Brussels sprout lovers in this one. Okay, more cheese. Get warm next to the stove. every sprout with a little cheese on it, right? Share the love. And now we're gonna share the bacon. The love fest continues. Just take it and crush it up. And then again, make sure you get it all over. Thank you, you want some, want some bacon? Oh, you good boy, good boy. All right, we're good to go in the oven. 375 degrees, it's been preheated. You wanna check this after 15 minutes. You want the cheese to be nice and ooey gooey. Oh, here we go. Mm. Oh, we are talking. Ooey, gooey, bacony goodness. You're gonna love it. Looking for an authentic Japanese steakhouse? Welcome to Saito's. Enjoy Saito's specialty sushi rolls, like their signature city place roll, featuring spicy tuna, pineapple, and avocado. 
Sido's also offers the best dinner on a show. Whether you enjoy surf or turf, there's something for everyone and it's always a lot of fun. Saito's Japanese Steakhouse, Hibachi and Sushi. Now with six locations to choose from. Enjoy dinner and a show today. For over 30 years, there's been only one place in Palm Beach County serving up the most authentic Maryland-style blue crabs. Riggins Crab House. Whether you want them steamed in beer and J.O. spice or smothered in garlic and oil, whether you want just a few or all you can eat, Chef Gino's got you covered. Plus, there's Dungeness, Snow, King Crab, and Stone Crab in season, and the fresh catch of the day to live Maine Lobster. Come see why people travel near and far to Riggins, the area's only authentic Maryland-style crab house. To win at this game, you have to put in the work, know the game plan, and execute. Duffy's, our game is always on. Is your business one of the area's finest in food, dining, entertainment, events, or hospitality? Would your business benefit from being featured up close and personal every week on broadcast TV? Then you need to be a part of the Food Lady TV show. Log on to our website at pamthefoodlady.com and discover the many ways you can star on our program. Or give us a call today at 561-585-8668. The Food Lady. Local TV never tasted this good. Thank you so much for watching this edition of The Food Lady. You're the cheesiest. We've had so much fun eating all these cheesy, delicious things. Thank you so much, Vito. The king of cheese. Thank you, thank you. When you thank go to a restaurant, you ask them if their mozzarella is from mozzarella, and where can they get it to in the stores? They can get it into all food markets, or they can get it some of the public in the South Florida. They can get Milan market. And the best restaurants around, too. Yeah, they're featured yes. on our show. Yes. Make sure you tune in next time to a new edition of The Food Lady. Thank you. Bye-bye. Cheese. What did you do with my glass? I got my Drink glass. Drink again now. All right, now I have to. All right. <laughs> if I must. So everything is low calorie, right? <laughs> Stop it. <laughs> All right. So what do you want to know about wine? He, got, he made me blush. <laughs> Salon services by Palm Beach Beauty Salon. Located in the LA Fitness Plaza PGA National. Services include skin care and facial waxing. Makeup artistry, great for weddings, proms, or any special occasion. Featuring ergonomically designed shampoo bowls to prevent strain on neck. With a team of talented hairstylists in a fun and energetic environment. All working together to ensure your visit a success.